What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be uh, custom painting my tail lights. Now I custom painted them before, um, but I thought they looked really cool, but I didn't have reverse lights because I tinted it way too dark. You couldn't see the reverse lights. Um, and I got pulled over once or twice for them. Um, one cop just let me go. The other cop said that, you know, give me a fix it ticket. So I ended up trading them for stock lights. And when I did that, the guy gave me his STI wing. It's just how I got that. Um, but now I really want to do it again. And I think with the design I'm going to go with, I, I might be able to get away with it a little bit easier. Um, so technically I won't still have reflectors. Now that's the only thing I'm worried about for inspection and such. Um, I won't have the side lighting up and I won't have reflectors, which is a big deal because at nighttime when a cop sees you drive by, you know, sometimes they might be like, oh, you don't have a side, you know, light on, on the side of the taillight. Um, but not all factory cars come with that anyways. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take a shot and see what I can do here and hope that it works out. But um, so I'm going to go ahead and obviously insert the picture of what the old ones look like right now. That's how I had them custom painted before. Um, and I did like that look, but like I said, it was just, it was a little too much. Um, and now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to insert the rendering, um, just a little, you know, quick Photoshop I did to see kind of an idea of what it might look like. So I'm going to insert that now. As you can see, there's a cutout for uh, the reverse lights. And I have the tailless turn module, so I don't need the turn signal to blink um, because the C light will blink as the turn signal. And um, so I feel like if I cut that square out there, you know, maybe kind of like make it rounded or something so it kind of fits the design. Um, with no tint at all, it should be very bright there. I have off-road like extremely bright LEDs in my, t in my reverse um, section and my turn signal section, both working as a reverse light. So I believe that will be plenty bright um, for the reverse light because I know some cars only have a little reverse light that big. So I think it'll work out. Anyways, I got to go to my paint supply store and get some fine line tape. Um, and I believe that's all I need for this um, for this paint job. So I just got to have fine line tape to get around, you know, the areas and make it look how I want to make it look. Um, I'm going to finish up. I'm working right now. Once I get done work, I'm going to swing by the paint store, grab what I need to grab, and uh, take you guys on this journey with me so you can kind of see it. Um, the only thing I am worried about, I'm, I'm not so much worried about getting pulled over, but I am worried about inspection. Um, that is one thing that I do worry about is, is you know, getting busted for not having my, you know, for, for inspection. I feel like that might be an issue. Um, my inspection is coming up soon, and that might be an issue. Um, but if it is, I'll retrieve a factory set. I have a lot of friends with the same car as me, so I can quickly swap them out, get the car inspected, put these back on. Right, so I just got home. I'm going to pull these taillights and i uh, going to pull that tin off, and then we're going to paint these bad boys. So um, I was kind of contemplating maybe a few more different design ideas, um, but I'm probably just going to go ahead and do them uh, the way I was originally planning. Um, if I had the patience, I would tear these apart and paint this chrome bl all, all black and leave these reflectors red. I think that would be really cool. Um, you know, but whatever. It's not, uh, it's not worth the time. Here's what I mean with these reflectors. You know, I can paint this, but all these reflectors are going to be, you know, painted over. Like, solid painted. Um, so there, it's not even going to be tinted. It's going to be completely painted and you won't see those reflectors at all. And this is completely permanent. So just before anyone tries to do this themselves or anything, just know it is illegal and you could possibly get stopped for it. Um, and you may fail inspection. Um, so just a heads up. All right, so I went ahead and I got the tint off these taillights. Now, I do have a sander here with an intermediate soft pad, which will help get around the contours of the taillights with a piece of 500 grit sandpaper. You're probably going to use one piece per taillight. Um, if you don't have sandpaper or sander and you don't want to spend all that money and you want to do this yourself, you can pick up a few of these Scotch-Brite pa uh, Scotch pads, like a three-pack or something would be plenty for you. Um, but... I'm going to go ahead and sand it with this and then get really good around the edges, uh, all the edges with uh, with the scotch pad. That's the best way to do it here. 
Um, and then once the tail light is completely sanded, um, I will go ahead and start masking this off and we'll figure out how we want this design and go from there. So here's the difference between a uh, tail light that hasn't been sanded yet uh, to one that's been thoroughly sanded. Obviously you can tell it's nice and flat. Um, there's really no shine left to it. A little bit maybe there. Um, but I'm going to go around these edges with the scotch pad and then uh, I'll go ahead and do that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that fine line tape and I'm going to follow the C. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to tape like so and then I'm going to break off in the middle here and tape another one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and and shut my mouth and I'm going to do this quick and you guys can see how I have it taped um, once I finish that up. So getting this outline is going to be like one of the hardest parts um, and then obviously you know once you have it um, trying to match it one to the other one is even harder. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this up, make it right, um, and then fill in the areas I don't want sprayed. And then I'm going to try and mimic it on the other side. I'm looking at this and it looks just a little bit off to me. Um, and I, I really don't want to, you know, retape this whole thing, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm going to try and get in here and and fix up any of this with just I'm gonna run another piece of fine line tape um, just along the edge and try and smooth the edge out and then I'm also I've noticed that this kind of curved down um, which I wasn't trying to do um, so I'm gonna try to straighten that out just a little bit if I can um, so all right I got these just about even I got them as good as I can get them um, so I am going to go ahead and spray these black. Now we got to carefully, really carefully pull this uh, tape off to reveal the design underneath and then we shall clear coat it after that. Now once we untape them, um, the design is revealed. So once these are clear coated that will look a lot better. Um, but. Definitely think that looks pretty cool. Way cooler than stock, for sure. Alright guys, these are finished, and they look so good. Um, there's a little bit of dirt in them. Obviously, to be expected, I'm painting them in a garage, not a paint booth. Um, but I will be able to wet sand and buff this dirt out. There is no dirt in the base coat or the first coat of clear. Um, and there is three nice heavy coats of clear on these taillights. All right, guys, so it's the next day, and the taillights are in now. Now, the only reason they're in today was I did get them in last night, um, but the problem was I wanted to make sure they were nice and dry, so I didn't get them in until late. Um, so I just figured I'd wait till today to show you guys. The finish on these is perfect. I thought I was going to have to buff them, but maybe I don't. Um, these came out so nice. I'm really, really, really happy. Um, so here they are, completely off. Uh, none of the functions are turned on right now. Um, one thing to keep in mind is I do have the tail is turned modules, which is going to make this, you know, look a lot better. Now, if uh, if I didn't have the tail is turned modules, um, this section here would light up um, as a turn signal. Now, that might look cool. It might not. I don't know. I might experiment with it and see how it looks. Um, but definitely something to consider. And I might end up putting like a red. I can hook my um, turn signals into that and put a red bulb in there. And maybe, you know, I don't know. I'll experiment with it. But this one is definitely the reverse light. And it will stay the reverse light no matter what. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on the... Uh, running lights so you can see how that looks so there is the running lights all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on the hazards Here is the hazards and turn signal. So obviously with just one turn signal, that's what you're gonna get. But uh, 
Now I'm going to go ahead and light up these reverse lights. So as you can see, that one bulb peeks out on both sides, and it's extremely bright. Um, I did test these at nighttime, and it is extremely bright. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely bright enough um, for reverse lights. They're how they are right now. They're brighter than stock. Um, so perfect. There they are, guys. Um, so yeah, they're they're finished, and I'm super happy with them. And I think it really gave that the car just that extra look that it needed. And you know, it looks a lot more aggressive now. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and put it in the comments section. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.